Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening, this podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur trying to get over that hump and make things happen. This podcast is for anybody with a dream that wants to go forward and accomplish that dream. This is episode 348, and for about a week now, I've been under the weather. I've been sick. Um, last Thursday night, I had a photography event to shoot, and at that event, I felt something coming on. I thought it was my allergies, my sinuses, something like that. But it was very apparent on my drive home that night that it was something deeper. Um, and from Thursday night all the way up until this Wednesday morning, uh, I've been down bad. I've been sick. You know, I've had everything from the sore throat to head to headaches to chills to nausea to no energy to coughs to sneezes to mucus draining the whole nine yards. Um, it's, it's a real cold. You know, it wasn't COVID, but it's it's a real cold. And this is the second time this year. That I've been sick in 2022. Whereas the past three years combined, I didn't get sick at all. 2019, 2020, 2021, all throughout this COVID pandemic, I did not get sick. But this year, I ended up getting sick twice so far. And we're only six months into the year. Today is Wednesday, June 1st, 2022. My birthday is in 18 days. June 19th, um, Twiz 10th as I call it, ever since June 19th, June 10th has become a national holiday. I call it Twiz 10th. Um, I've always knew that my birthday was a holiday, but I'm about to be 34. And when I was sick, when I was on my sick bed, you know, I got to thinking, you know, it's more things I need to do to improve my immune system. Our immune system is our first and last line of defense. It's, it's our immune system needs to be taken care of. The older we become, the golder we become, we need to continue to take more care of our immune system because we cannot ill afford to continue to be sick. You know, even if you have nothing to do, even if you don't want to do anything, we still don't have time to be sick. You know, um, being sick is not something that we should want in our lives. But anyway, I got to thinking that there are more things I need to do to improve my immune system. Right. So I can continue to fight off these diseases, you know, these colds so I don't get sick again. This is the second time I've been sick this year. I don't want to get sick again in this calendar year. Um, but I started deep, thinking deeper. You know, what what makes you sick, Antoine Taylor? What, what, what continues to make you sick? And, you know, it's a couple of things that make me sick. Racism makes me sick. White supremacy makes me sick. You know, um, homelessness makes me sick. You know, all of these things makes me sick. You know, but even on a deeper level than that, what makes you sick? And I had came up with some things, you know, and a few things I share is, you know, I thought I was at the point where I was mature enough to not worry about what people think of me. That's a lie. It's not 100% the way it should be. I still feel a way about the way people think about me. That still makes me sick. When in reality, it shouldn't make me sick at all because people are going to think what they want to think about you regardless. You can be the nicest person on earth. You probably never even said a word to these people, but they're still going to have a preconceived notion about you. And it's nothing you can do about it. So that shouldn't make me sick, but it still does. You know, I still feel the need to set people right and let them know what the truth is so they don't believe these lies. That still makes me sick and it shouldn't. There are a lot of things in our lives that jeopardize our immune systems, our spiritual and emotional immune systems. There's a lot of things from our past and our present day or in our surrounding uh, communities that still makes us sick. And on this episode, I just want to talk about how we need to improve our immune systems so we don't get sick. But before I get into that, I'm just going to very briefly talk about an episode from a couple months ago, Anger Management. Go back and listen to it. And on that episode, I talked about how we've been using anger wrong. You know, we, we use anger as a tool to hurt people, whereas anger needs to be a tool used to break down barriers to achieve what we want in life. And even expanding on that, anger is simply just the inability to communicate. Because you don't know how to communicate how you feel to people you don't know how to communicate that, so therefore you hold it in like a cancer growth. It gets bigger and bigger, then it explodes, and it hurts other people, but it's also hurting you in the process. That's what anger is. It's simply just the inability to communicate. So we don't want to be sick anymore. If we want to be healed, if we want to improve our immune system emotionally and spiritually, 
We need to release that anger. We need to just communicate. You see, we don't want to communicate because we don't know how the person we're going to communicate this with is going to respond. We don't know if this person is going to give us the response we want or we don't know what. But you know what? We have to understand that in this life, we only have one life and we owe it to ourselves above all else. We don't owe it to nobody else. We owe it to ourselves to release this burden. So therefore, you just need to communicate. You just need to say it. You just need to do what you have to do so that you can be healed, ladies and gentlemen. Stop worrying about other people and how they're going to respond and how they're going to receive it. As long as you have no malice in your heart, as long as you have no ill will in your words, speak it, speak your truth and move on. I know it's easier said than done, you know. It's just like, oh, whoop de doo I mean, I can do that, but I still feel the way I get it. Because like I said, there's still some things that still make me sick to this day. But see, you have to understand, it's a constant daily process. You can't just say something, speak your piece, move on and leave it at that. No, you got to continue to work on yourself. So whether that means therapy, whether that means continuing to surround yourself with people that love you and pour into you, whether no matter what it is, you have to continue to work on yourself so that you can be healed. It is a daily practice, ladies and gentlemen, because your immune system don't take no days off. Your immune system is working right now as you listen to this podcast. Right now as I talk on this podcast, your immune system is working. So therefore, you have to continue working every single day, even if you're not working on your business. Even if you're not working on your goals, you have to work on your immune system so you don't be sick anymore. So you can accomplish and feel what real peace feels like. So you can know what real healing feels like. That's your job and that's your duty to yourself. You owe it to yourself. So yeah, speak your peace to whoever hurt you, to whatever's bothering you, whatever it may be. Move on from that person and from that subject, but continue to work on yourself. And there's a myriad of ways you can work on yourself. I just listed a few, and there are a bunch of other few things that you can do. As long as you continue to work on yourself so that you can be a better version of you, that's what matters and that's what's important. Because, see, you cannot be productive. You cannot build this business. You cannot be a dream chaser. You cannot do all these great things that you want to do in your life if you're not the best version of yourself. If you're still hurting on the inside. You know how many people on the internet and in this world are basically sad folks with happy faces? That's another episode. Face car fraud. Go listen to that. You know how many people fit that criteria on social media in the world? It's sad. It's heartbreaking. And we don't need any more people like that. All of these people need to be healed. All of these people need their immune systems to become stronger. Because they are wounded. I'm wounded. You're wounded. We are all wounded and we cannot accomplish what we want to accomplish if we remain wounded. That doesn't mean you're not going to take any bumps and bruises along the way. But there's a difference between bruised and being wounded. We need to be healed, ladies and gentlemen. We need to be healed. And I'm not no healing guru. Let me just put that on the record right now as you listen to this. I'm not no uh, healing guru. I'm not no therapist. I'm not none of the above and more. I'm simply just someone that went through this journey that knows what it's like to be sick. I know what it's like to feel pain. I know what it's like to be hurt. And I know what it's like to be on that journey to heal. And I'm fully healed from some things. But there's some other things that I'm just not quite there yet. But I will get there. So that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. I know what it's like to be an entrepreneur, to have these big dreams, to be told no time and time again, to be told things that hurt your feelings, to be washed away, to be to be written off. I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be angry. I know what all these things feel like. But I'm still here. I'm still thriving. I still got that vision. I still got perseverance. I still got endurance and I'm still going forward and I'm not going to stop until I see what the end may be. And that's my message to you, ladies and gentlemen. So whatever it is that you have to do, whether it's therapy, whether it's being around a community that understands your pain, whether it's venting to a trusted confidant, whether it's working out, it's so many ways. So many things that you can do to heal yourself and so many places you can go to be healed so that you no longer have to be sick of these things. So when you see something that used to trigger you in the past, it doesn't trigger you anymore. You are healed. You are cured. You are 100% healthy and you can go forward on this journey with all your enthusiasm and all your might. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. Let's strengthen our immune system this week. 
our spiritual immune system, our mental immune system. Let's get better. Let's get stronger so we don't have to be sick anymore. So we don't have to feel fatigued anymore. So we can be the best version of ourselves right now in the present and in the future. If this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape, or form, ask for two things as always. Number one, leave a five-star review. And number two, pass it on to a friend who may benefit from it as well. Have a great day, everyone. I'll talk to you next week.